Hi guys, this is the Logic Tutor. Yeah, welcome to my channel. Uh, here we upload videos on practicals and topics in engineering, science and mathematics. If all this sounds interesting, just click on the subscribe button and also on the bell, uh, notification bell, to so notify when we drop new videos. So, in this video we want to look at the NECO 2023 uh, KBC practical result analysis aspect of it. So, we are going to scan through the question we are using here and the samples we are going to work with in this video. And uh, whatever the case might be, this is not giving us the exact questions, we are just working on likely questions that you might come across and the likely test. So, based on instruction. So now, let's go through this. Um, instruction, I mean the questions here, we said we are so that you're giving a sample label C, okay, then you are, you are meant to carry out the following test on sample C, so the first one says take few portion of C in a test tube and add about 2 cm of distilled water, you check whether it is soluble or insoluble, then you write your observation and inference, then divide the solution into two portions, so you're going to carry out test on the solution and you're dividing it into two portions. So to the first portion, what you need to do is to add barium chloride. Then after adding barium chloride, then you add dilute HCl, dilute hydrochloric acid. Record the observations and inference in both cases. Then to the second portion, add a drop of phenolphthalein indicator. So you know what phenolphthalein is, so there is a certain test on that. Then after that, uh, the last test, you yeah, have dip a moistened wire into, a sam into sample C and place the wire in flame so you see the response of that sort to the flame so now let's carry out the practical view of it so that you can see everything and be able to record the observation or have the idea of how it is done so let's carry out the test this is the sample C so let us add uh, a sample of this into the test tube so uh, actually I'm going to use a boiling tube here so this is it so I've added it then I'll add about 2 cm of distilled water and see what happens so the solution turns white and soluble because no particle is found so it turns white solution is formed and no particles present so this shows that the salt is soluble in water so that is the first uh, observation so in such reference we are just going to add there that salt C is soluble in water. That is the observation and the inference. The observation is salt C dissolve to form white solution. That is the observation. Then the inference to this will be C is soluble in water. C is soluble in water. Now the next is we are meant to uh, take divide the solution into two portions. So let's divide it into two portions. So this is the first portion here. Oh, no. Okay. Dividing it into two portions. So let's say this is the first portion here. And this is the second portion. So now let's carry out test on the first portion as it is in the question. So, so let's take this as the first question and carry out the test on it. So to the first question, we are told to add barium chloride. So this is barium chloride solution. So let's add it and see what happens. So, okay. Okay, I can see white precipitate formed. Like particles. Yeah, not gelatinous, just white precipitate formed in this. Can we see that it stains the body of so that's white precipitates then the next is add hcl into it so on adding hcl what happens yeah adding hcl this is hcl now so what happens on adding hcl wow the precipitate dissolves the effervescent occur and precipitate dissolves in hcl completely in hcl so for the for the addition of barium chloride, we discover that white precipitate is formed. So the anion that might be present might be CO2, CO3 2 minus, SO4 2 minus, SO3 2 minus might be uh, produced. 
that is when BACL2 is added. But on addition of HCl, we see that the, uh, the precipitate dissolves completely, so that shows the presence of um, CO3 to minus support. Okay, let's perform the second test to see what happens. So, the second portion of it, we are meant to add phenolphthalein indicator. So, this is the phenolphthalein indicator. So, I will have to add the indicator to the portion. Wow, can you see? It changed pink. The color changed pink. So, out of all the anions, the only one that is basic and can change the color of phenolphthalein to pink is CO3 to minus. So, that indicates CO3 to minus is present. So we have confirmed CO3 to minus. So the observation is color. When we add uh, phenolphthalein indicator to the second portion, we discover color change to pink. Then thereafter, uh, we can write our inference that CO3 to minus is present. So that is for this. That is for that test. So now the last test which we are going to do, according to the question, is. So we do the flame test of the salt. So now let's go out, let's go and carry out that. So this is the moist, um, the moist rod we are using. So we dip it into the salt just like this and let's carry out the flame test. Actually, bosom flame should be used, but because bosom flame uses blue ball, I just have to improvise with this. This is luminous flame. It might not work, really work. But let's just see our result. Uh, if I place that there, what do I observe? Okay, the flame appears bluish. The color of the salt is going getting bluish. No yellowish in color okay the blue shows as a result of the uh, region of the flame of the candle so we can see a color yellow from this yellow flame apart from the luminosity i don't know if this is visible as much in the camera but i can see a yellow flame a yellow color change in the salts so the color changes yellow so that shows that uh in flame tests which cation shows yellow color and that is sodium so probably sodium cation is present in this salt so let's write our observation and inference so this is the table of the observation and inference and you can see uh the test performed the observations and the inferences so for the first one, I've told you the observation is dissolved, so it shows that it is soluble in water. Then C plus barium chloride, we discover that white precipitate is formed. So that has shown that there is presence of some anion, which is probably, okay, uh, we discover that anion present could be CO3 2 minus, SO4 2 minus, or SO3 2 minus are present. So now on addition of HCl, we discover that the precipitate is soluble in HCl. So we can say CO3 2 minus is present. Then after that, uh, we add phenolphthalein to the second portion, which is the test here. Then the observation is that it turns pink. So then that confirms CO3 2 minus. It is the only basic one among all these anions. Yeah, so now let's move on to the last test, C plus flame. We discover that C turns yellowish in the flame. So and then what is the inference? Na plus is the one that turns yellow in flame test so that is the observation the inference for the test thanks for watching this video please endeavor to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and also share this video thank you for watching